Jimmy because I heard Frank Sinatra in the car twice after she died. You like it? Just something new to try. Mmm. Mmm. They're called crepes. They're French. <gasps> French. Mm -hmm. French. How about that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only one more, but then we have to go pick up the package. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It never occurred to me that I've never given you crepes before. But I have given you strawberries before. Honey, even I'm missing out on good food. We'll try more together next year when we can travel again. Clean up, we have to go. Plug it in on the counter and we'll play music when we make breakfast. It's my favorite. Is the speaker good? on the television or communicate with hearing people. She's learning just like you should with this hand stuff. Besides, Dad's arthritis is catching up with me, so I'd like if you talk to her while I rested. <laughs> Sometimes I forget how much older you are. <laughs> Jeez, thanks. Ruth, who's here? <gasps> oh, dear. Um, hi, Ruth. Jesus, Abigail, she's your niece. At least hug her back for Christ's sake. <clears throat> Can you tell her to let go now, please? I'm kind of tempted not to. It's a rare image I don't get to see very often. My daughter hugging my sister. I don't think you can hold her like that since she was a baby. Loretta, please, I'm starting to sweat. She's so warm. All right, all right. Come on up to your room and I'll buzz the light when you ready. Okay. What? Oh. Okay, I know. I get it, I've never talked to my niece, but... But technically she's never talked to me. Abigail! You know communication isn't just through words. We have letters, symbols. Hell, if you wanted to use Morse code, I'd be happy with that. Can you stop doing the hand stuff, please? It's distracting me. Okay. I, I know, I get it. I, I know it's bad of me, but you know I struggled with that hand language. I never understood it. Maybe if you actually gave it a chance, you wouldn't have such a hard time with it. I did give it a try, a long time ago. Can you turn that down, please? 
You know how I feel about loud music. It's dangerous, you know. Stop it, Abigail! I don't need this right now! Okay, I'm sorry. I just dropped by to tell you that I have these records I thought you might like since you said you're getting a new player for Ruth today. It's nice. Yeah, it is. It is nice. It's, it's got a nice... Loretta? Loretta, are, are you alright? I'm okay. I just need to sit. Is it that, that diabetical thing? You mean diabetes? And yes, it is. Oh, Lord. You just sit down and I'll take care of the cans. Can you, can you give me some grape juice? That was oh, of course, right sure. Up next, the Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy by the Andy Sisters in honor of our troops. We're here for you, boys. Thank you. Now, what were you saying about the records again? Oh, um, right. Well, I don't really listen to them that much anymore, and they have a nice beat and some really good rhythm, and I thought maybe Ruth might like them because of that. You know, for someone who doesn't talk to her niece, you sure do know a lot about her and care a lot for her. You all good over there? <laughs> Loretta, I think I can handle some cans, and... And besides, you know Ruth can't listen to Beethoven for the rest of her life on your old wrinkly records. These are some jazz ones she might like. Ones with a good beat. You said listen. What an interesting choice of words. Are you staying for dinner? No. I have to catch the trolley back and feed my little kitten. I should bring him over sometime. I think Ruth might like to play with him. He's as energetic as her. Shame. Ruth and I could tell you the alphabet and sign language, but I guess we'll have to do it next time. But yes, you should bring your kid over. I think Ruth would like that very much. You're playing this slow stuff? I get that it's new and it's everywhere, but it's just so slow. Oh, we don't have to talk about that one. <laughs> you do remember. <laughs> no, I don't. It was New Year's. And you and I were so drunk. <laughs> and, and you were the worst out of both of us. We don't have to bring this up, Abigail. <laughs> and then this guy asked you to dance, and when you were dancing, yeah. when he spun you... Don't remind me. <laughs> you threw up! <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> you, you were like a fire hydrant. <laughs> Yes, Abigail, thank you for reminding me. I remember now. Thank you. Dance with me, Loretta.
Loretta. Somebody get help! Somebody get help! Please, someone! Would you like some tea? It was a beautiful burial. I'm sorry. Ruth. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you struggle to understand me. I struggle to understand you. I know we have a lot to learn from each other. Did you know that Loretta and I used to have a brother? And he was deaf too. Um, when he was born, we had to learn sign language. I didn't get it at all. I got words mixed up all the time. I was six. Uh, Loretta was 17 and Henry, that was his name, uh, he was four. I don't know if Loretta ever told you this. She most likely didn't. Um, we took a family trip down to the dock. Henry and I, we raced to the very edge to look out. I was eventually telling him that the people in the water were swimming. He wanted to go, but I said no. And then this band began to play loudly on the dock. I went over to them, but, and I thought Henry was behind me, but I forgot he couldn't hear what I could hear, and I didn't hear him 
when he slipped and fell off the dock. It, it wasn't until I heard Loretta scream, Henry, that I saw him dangling there, and I ran as fast as I could, but by the time that I could get to him, he let go, and I, I couldn't jump in. I couldn't swim. And neither could he. Loretta came up seconds behind and she jumped the dock, but by the time that she got him, it was too late. God, I loved your mom. Your mom was the most amazing, kind, wonderful, smart person. I love your mom. Your mom was amazing. And she raised you, you beautiful girl. This is all my fault. If I hadn't slammed the door, if I hadn't left my brother alone, it's my fault that your mother's gone. I'm so sorry. Ruth, I'm so sorry. I can never forgive myself. I want to learn for you. I want to learn for Loretta. I, I want you to understand that this is my fault and I'm sorry. I want to be a part of your life, Ruth. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> How do you say I love you in sign language? This is I. This is L. This is O, this is V, I don't know E. That's I love you too. That's a lot easier than saying it. <laughs>